What is going on all you lovely people? Welcome back to the channel for episode 3 of my Let's Play series here on Pokemon Gold. So yes, uh, previous episode, we literally left off where we are standing right now. We've just uh, got the second gym badge. Um, our... Uh, our Pokemon party is looking pretty damn sweet, I'm not going to lie. So we've got Wooper, Quilava, evolved from Cyndaquil, Pidgey and Mareep. Pretty damn happy with that uh, variety we got going on there, guys. And yeah, um, we've got a rival match coming up in just a sec. All we're going to do is move forward a few places. And uh, yeah, let's see what today's episodes bring. What today's episode does bring us. So, Enigma... It's our first official match against Marig Enigma, as um, when we faced him before, we didn't know his name. So, uh, idiotically, I just tried to use Water Gun on Wooper, but it didn't affect him. Water Gun from Wooper on Ghastly, but it doesn't do anything. If we uh, get some fire going, it does. So there we go. Croconaw, we want Mareep to face this bad boy. The evolution of Totodile, of course. Can we get a couple of thunder shocks going here? Looks like we might. And we did. Mareep just defeated Croconaw. Not bad. An Enigma might be falling pretty much solely to Mareep here. And he does. Mareep up to level 15. And does Mareep evolve? He does. And uh, second evolution here, guys. Mareep becomes a Flaffy. Not bad at all. An Enigma just going on saying he hates the weak and thinks I'm an arsehole. But there we go. So let's continue, shall we? Now, we need the Cut HM to be able to get past this uh, little tree hanging about just here. But thankfully, I believe this is the trap that can get me it. All I've got to do is find the Farfetch'd and bring him back. Can't be too difficult. I think we'll probably leave Booper in the uh, starting position because he's the one that needs the uh, boost at the moment. So we're just going to chase this, well, what looks like a a, um, a Psyduck from the front. It, it looked like a Psyduck just now. There you go. Look at it from head on. We'll wait for it again. There you, oh. See, that didn't look like a Psyduck. Come on. Look like a Psyduck. I could swear it just looked like a Psyduck. Right. There you go, that looks like a Psyduck. That definitely looks like a Psyduck. Right. I think one more, and it should be back. That definitely looks like a Psyduck. But it's a Farfetch'd. There we go. So it's flew back there. And uh, we've got another match here. Odish. Nah, screw ya. And here we go. And just wanted to come back and haunt me then, didn't ya? Cool. So, we have a word with this chap. He will give me HM1, which of course is cut. Awesome stuff. So, who out of the party can learn this? We've also got to teach Flash to someone. I think that's going to be a Flaffy job. Um, only one at the minute is Quilava, which I guess isn't too bad. Just get rid of Leah for now. We can obviously get cut removed, I think, from someone. <laughs> But, oh, I'll tell you what, we'll give it to Wooper. Because out of the four we've got, Wooper's probably the one that's probably not going to make it. Right. But I do like the addition that you could just click on it, and then if you've got a Pokemon that knows that move, they can just do it for you. That's pretty good. So, we are on our way to Goldenrod City. That is not meant to sound inappropriate. I realise it could be taken inappropriately. But, there we go. So, um, the Pokemon are going to be a little bit stronger going into this section here. But um, I think we need to see if we can have a word with him. Because he could give he gives us a very nice little move. Which is really intriguing. And it got me literally uh, playing around for about half an hour doing it. Excuse me. So, here we go. Let's have a word. Headbutt. So, we've got TM2. Headbutt allows you to uh, headbutt the trees. Now, we've got to uh, teach it to someone. Now, this is an, only a one-time thing. Wooper is able to learn it. I think we'll give it to them. Tail Whip, of course. And there we go. So, just for um, an example, if we click on this, 
get Whoop, Whooper to headbutt it, and it gives us a Pokemon, a Caterpie. Fair enough. Now, uh, not the thing that I would want to... So you can keep doing this, just until Pokemon comes out. Caterpie again. Again, not interested in a Caterpie. We'll move on. We'll uh, see this one instead. See if we can... And execute. Cool. Not sure if it's worth catching this, you know. Slam. See, I'm getting kind of destroyed. See, this execute might not be too bad. Um, I tell you what, just to save a little bit of uh, face, let's just um, gust it. Ah, see, I'm kind of tempted to try and catch it. The executes are more rare Pokemon. I don't know if a Pokeball is going to be enough to get it. Even though it's a low level. It did. It got out. And there we go. The second one gets it. Nice. So we're not going to give a nickname to it. We are going to... Oh, see, I don't know what to do now. Execute is now part of the party. I'm, I'm thinking... I'm thinking we'll just um, keep it in the, uh, in the box. In the computer. Don't think it's one that I'm going to actively look to train up. I think you need a leaf stone to evolve execute as well. Doesn't level up doesn't evolve on its own. Right, so um that to be fair wasn't actually that long. So um I think there is a way we can avoid a few matches here. We've avoided that chap. It's a level twelve drowsy, so as you can see the levels of these have just went up considerably. Damn it, that's not good. There we go. Okay. There we go. I knew there was a way I could have avoided all of them. Ah, daycare. Right. <laughs> this is where you uh, sort out your eggs. So, um, what does that execute? It was a male. Damn it. Right, um... You know what? I'm going to give you Execute to look after for me. Cool. So, uh, you're looking after Execute for me. Thank you very much. A level... Uh, third... Uh, Eleven Ratata. Just, um... Finished off my Wooper. That's not something to be happy about, is it? Right, I'm thinking we need to focus on training up Pidgey and Quilava a bit more now. Because we've made it to this gym relatively quick, it's, um, we're actually a little bit weak to face the leader at the moment. So we do need to do a bit of training. Thankfully, there are a lot of trainers around in order for me to do that. So um, now we're uh, leveled up again. Let's go and face these trainers we've just passed. Now, I'm thinking we want to get Pidgey up a bit more. Maybe to like 18 or all that. So, just so we can... Oh, Liz is... Uh, oh, she wants to rebattle already. I don't think so, love. Not yet. Maybe when we can fly, we'll go and give her a, uh, give her a hello. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Quick attack. Nice. Get some quick attack action going. That's the side up done. That's level 16. And no evolution from Pidgey. It's a bit strange. There's a drowsy. There we go. Another drowsy. More drowsy. To be fair, this is not bad for. Oh, I knew it. This is not too bad for um, Pidgey to. Uh, Train again, an ab. Oh, it's a female abra. Drowsy again. Okay. Oh, uh, I think we've uh, made it a bit further down than what I uh, wanted to there. Right, where are we? Yeah, we are further down than what I wanted. This actually just reminded me. 
this is a uh, chap's number we can get, and we just did. So that's cool. Welcome to the phone book, Todd. Legend. Right, let's get uh, Pidgey uh, going a bit more. And we're certainly getting there. Nearly at level 18, there we go. Now we have our Pidgeotto, that's good. Oh! Here we go. Welcome, 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 welcome to our first egg hatch. It's Togepi! Yay! Now, is Togepi a male or a female? That won't tell me. This will tell me. It's a male. Damn it. I was hoping it'd be a female so I could throw it in the uh, daycare. But, I'll tell you what, we'll just throw Tokopi in here anyway. Because um, that will still level him up a bit, so uh, that's good. Right, now we haven't got that Tokopi in our party, we can focus on um, trying to maybe get another one. Not another Tokopi, I mean another uh, Pokemon getting on this party. Right, let's just get PGO up a little bit more. Oh, a ditto. I, um... You know, a few years ago when Pokemon Red and Blue were the uh, the games, and obviously Yellow, um, I actually used my Master Ball on one of them. And uh, all the kids at school laughed at me for it. And looking back now, it's a very stupid thing to do. Not going to lie. Right, PGO is up to level 19. That is good. I am happy with that, so... Let's get Quilava up a bit more as well. So Quilava we're going to use in these matches here. So, uh, so have a word with you, mate. A monkey. Cool. And we'll cut. A Diglett. Whooper, you'd be good for a Diglett, wouldn't you? Because you know water gum. There we go. That's good. Can you um no you don't you don't wanna you don't want another match? Too scared are we? Snubble, okay. That's ember that. And there we go, that's done. How about you, love? A hoppip, that's good. Another hoppip. And a bulbasaur, nice. There we go. So that's you done. This chap here. Let's have a word. There we go. Cool. A uh, Rattata. It's gone. Sandrew. Damn it. I mean, yeah, that's that's fine. Sparrow. Uh, Flaffy, you'd be good for that. There we go. So that's that one. Those those four trainers done pretty quick. How about you? Oh, yep. Uh, Gina. Lovely. Well, uh, you, there is a limit on uh, the amount of numbers you can have. I think it's 15 from memory. Let's have a word over to you. Policeman doesn't like me being out this late, so... Oh! He roared and Fluffy came out instead. That's actually not a bad idea. There we go. How about, how about you? Yeah, I'm being good and I'm staying out of trouble, mister. You know, we're, we're good. Everything's fine here. We're going to heal up. And we're going to go and face some more trainers. Like I said, I mean, I think we probably could defeat the leader, but... You know, I think we'll, um, we'll use, you know, what we have now. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. So, you, lucky number show, uh, we got a match, we don't have a match, right, quiz, we're on a radio card, now this will, this, oh no, whoops, right, so it's yes, 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 no, That is correct. There we go. So the radio card. Right, radio card. Now that will come in handy later on. Now, um, 
not going to spoil it of course but uh, yeah that will come in handy now when I was playing this before I realized that I that's where I needed to go and that's what I needed for I needed to continue so uh, yes um, this is a, uh, a team rocket yeah won't be long before we see them again small spoiler right so this place is actually pretty big so uh, this is the um, casino where uh, you play the slots get loads of money whatever not my cup of tea at least in Pokemon at the very least right here there's um, numerous uh, different uh, buildings over here this one see for me does that does that person there look like they're on a toilet or something it does to me or wearing a massive nappy right this is an underground tunnel I believe now again this is somewhere where we'll uh, need to come again at some point it does have a few trainers in here so uh, let's uh, take these out now before we embarrass them a bit later on when we need to come back here then but uh, yeah let's uh, do that now Okay, pretty. Oh, a Lickitung Gen One Legend. What's this? Coin case. Yay! We're not going to be using that, are we? You? Yep. Yeah. Okay, Magnemite. Awesome. I thought there was a Magnemite. No. Oh no, it's. Uh, he's got a Voltorb there. Magnemite again. Send by that and. Oh, quick attack. Uh, let's get rid of smokescreen. Wondered why it was only three. Because I saw four up there. There we go. So Quilava's already up to level 21. That's pretty good. Slowpoke. Damn it. I mean, we could just take it out. Right, Slowpoke again. Let's go to Fluffy, I think. Cool. So that's that lot of trainers defeated. Now this has only moved us over a little bit, as you can see. If we go here, is this name rater? Maybe another time there, dude. Right, there's a the gym over there. We won't be going there just yet, like I said. Oh, about a word with you. No, you're alright. No. I'm pretty sure Bill's around here somewhere. Have we gone into the Pokemon Center around here? It must be. It must be in the next next town we go to that Bill's uh, around. I'm pretty sure his family live in Goldenrod. There's a Mart around here. We could do with getting some more Pokeballs. Now, no idea what floor the Pokeballs are on. But uh, let's have a word with some assistance. We've got over 12,000 uh, Poke coins. Let's see. Here we go. Um, great balls. Nice. Okay. So uh, let's get 15 great balls. And then. Then we'll have 15 Pokeballs. Nice. That sounds like a good number. Man's happy, he spent some money on more balls. That used to be a reference to bowling balls. Not so much anymore. Damn you, COVID. Okay, I think we might have just healed, but let's just double check anyway. Right, I think we're going to do some more trainer battles now. Hopefully I remember to edit that sniffle out. I do apologise. Um, hay fever is really bad at the moment. Right, let's continue. Full picks, not a good start. There we go. Hmm. You know what? The more I think about it, the more I just don't think this is going to work out with Weeper. So I think, for now, the best thing to do would just be to put him in the PC. Now, I know you could say, um, oh no, what about, um, 
like leveling them up and stuff in the daycare. I would, but they would override the headbutt move. Um, should he get to a certain level. Which I don't want, because that headbutt is uh, pretty awesome, and we want to go be able to go back and do that at some point. So yeah, we've just got the three for now, and I think that'll be fine. So Sandro, you know, I mean, you could say that... Um, Apologies about that, guys. Phone call interrupted, but there we go. Uh, Maril. Uh, there we go. Right. Um, I'm gonna actually have to uh, leave it here for now. Uh, but obviously we're back in the same cl uh, in the same video. But uh, and there we are. We are back. <laughs> it's now daytime in the game, and it is actually Saturday, so uh, it means the bug catching competition is today. Um, don't know if you'll be able to tell, but I'm doing a voiceover th for this part mainly because um, my mic was unplugged when I uh, uh, went to um, when I started recording the the uh, clip that you're watching now. So yeah, we um, we don't really do a lot in this part. We uh, face these trainers here. We face the bloke. We need to face the lady, and we've got a few other trainers to deal with there. So um, I think what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna like fast forward through that. You're still gonna see it. it's just gonna be a lot, a uh, a lot um, faster than what you would. But yeah, so this is what the part is looking like at the moment. Um, I do add one to this. And because it's the bug catching competition, I decided I'd um, do a little glitch for it. So um, I wanted to catch a Bulbasaur. So uh, there we go. So um, yeah, I'll tell you what, we'll skip through these battles and uh, we'll come back in just a sec. Okay, so as you can see, I did have to um, uh, re recharge, heal. Let's just say I had to heal the Pokemon a few times in that. So, bug catching competition has officially started. Now, um, this will probably teach me for using a glitch for this. So, I uh, did the Bulbasaur, Bulbasaur glitch so I could like try and catch it. Now, the bloody thing bloody poisoned me straight away. So, immediately, I was going to be losing health. And because of the bug catching competition they only allow you one pokemon so um it's kind of my bad that this just did not go my way at all now if i'd have caught that bulbasaur that would have been great but i didn't and uh, pidgeotto fainted and uh that's where we yeah that's how it ended so we've got to wait until tuesday to be able to do this again i probably won't do another glitch if i do it'll be for i don't know uh, no idea, like a Scyther or a Pinsir, just to make sure I actually get, I'll tell you what, no, we won't do it, because, uh, they won, they won with a Pinsir, so, uh, <laughs> there we go, so, um, a little bit disappointed with that, of course, and um, six trainers, I mean, I guess that's cool, um, we'll, like I said, we'll do it again on Tuesday, I am always going to try and do the bug catching competitions when I record videos, um, on a Tuesday, Thursday, or Saturday, and, uh, unfortunately, you won't see one for a bit, I'm guessing, because I'm going to try and, uh, crank up the uh, the videos as much as I can over this weekend because the weekend when I'm recording this I'm not too busy but for the week weeks coming up I am going to be busy so yeah we are going to catch this Bulbasaur here literally it could not have got it down to any lower health because it was on one I did catch it which I'm really happy with so uh, yeah there we go now I'm going to hand you back to me who uh, is actually got his mic plugged in and uh, yeah here you go right I think we're working again now um, I just realized I ended my previous recording and uh, the mic was unplugged so um, the the last few bits you would have seen um, I would have hopefully remembered to do a voiceover for them so yeah apologies for that I've literally just faced this lady here um, I'm really happy that I caught that Bulbasaur like really happy 
it's level 14 so a little bit less than the one we saw in the wild but there we go I did use a little glitch for that just so I could catch a uh, proper bug Pokemon but there we go so I think we are going to end things here for this episode guys so if you did enjoy it make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me subscribe to the channel if you happen to be new as well and thanks again for watching I'll see you in the next one ciao for now